dear friends as we have seen the position of peaks in nmr spectra now the most interesting and important article we are doing number of measurement of peak position how we are going to measure the peak position in nmr and that measurement is having a typical word known as chemical shift this is the most important article known as chemical shift depends upon that total nmr spectroscopy is depends now we know that non equivalent proton absorb different magnetic field they will resonate with different magnetic field so if we are having a list of a different set of the protons sometimes what happens sometimes two sets of the proton have absorption difference very very less consider we are having two sets of the proton and absorption of magnetic field due to these two sets of the proton is very very less how much less so it is around the 0.02 gauss see our instrument is producing magnetic field around 14000 gauss please see the difference that what we are we know that h1 nmr spectroscopy gives the different signal when it will give different signal sometimes the the difference between difference of magnetic field between two peak is only 0.02 gauss and our instrument is producing the magnetic field around 14000 gauss so it is very difficult to measure this factor of magnetic field and it is very difficult to find their absolute peak position means if you are getting two peaks very close which is which and which is which it is very difficult to measure the absolute peak position to overcome this difficulty to overcome this difficulty we are using one reference standard and that reference standard is very interesting that is known as tms that reference standard is tms what is the long form of tms tetra methyl silane tetra methyl silane what is the structure of tetra methyl silane silicon it is sp3 hybridized like this we have done that what is the difficulty we have got that two peak position the difference is of only 0.02 gauss it is a very little difference so we are our instrument is producing magnetic field around 14000 gauss so we cannot measure absolute peak position for that purpose we are doing one relative term and that relative term in the form of reference standard why we are putting reference standard because it is very difficult to get absolute peak position that's why we are doing reference standard and that reference standard is tetra methyl silane we are having a different types of a reference standard but why we are choosing T why we have chosen tms as a reference standard all of you know that all there is a presence of 12 protons and all 12 protons are identical they will absorb same magnetic field so 12 protons gives single sharp peak number 1 it will give single sharp peak second most interesting thing silicon is electropositive so silicon gives electron density to the carbon and carbon gives electron density to the hydrogen electron density around hydrogen will increase and as we have known that if electron density around hydrogen will increase induced magnetic field will be more 
and as induced magnetic field will be more there will be a more shielding so this proton will get a maximum shielded and you know that shielded proton will come on the right hand side so we are getting all 12 protons are identical that's why we are getting single sharp peak and after that we are getting the peak is extremely at right hand side it is maximum shielded third most interesting thing as we are putting with another compounds if you have synthesized compound a and its structure you have to determine and if you are putting that reference standard if it will mix and if it will give a different reaction there is of no use so this compound is inert third it it is inert as it is inert it will not react with your compound so you will get only information as the original compound you will not get anything else and last and most important point it is having boiling point 27 degree centigrade so 27 degree centigrade it is a very less boiling point it is highly volatile so consider you will mix with your compound as it is inert it will not react with your compound and when you will get nmr and when you will bring the sample back as it is 27 degree centigrade it is easily evaporated so 27 degree centigrade and because of that we are using this as a reference standard we are chosen reference first of all we cannot measure absolute peak position that's why we are chosen reference standard reference standard we have chosen we have chosen tms and you know that silicon is electro positive it will increase electron density around the first is all 12 protons are identical it will give a single sharp peak second as it is strongly shielded that's why peak will be on the extreme right hand side next it is inert the third it is inert it will not react with your compound and number four this will be how very low boiling point that is 27 degree centigrade because of this four condition tms is very ideal reference standard ideal reference standard now what will start now that you take any compound in that you have to put tms as a reference standard so with additional to the number of signals of the proton you are getting one signal extra and that will be extremely on the right hand side this is the beauty of this nmr spectra what we are doing see consider you have taken ch3 ch2 cl we have to add reference standard what will happen the signal will extremely on the right hand side come this is tms signal that's it and with the reference to that signal we can find out the position of another signal and this position finding this position it is known as a very interesting concept known as chemical shift now now what we are going to discuss now the most important thing that chemical shift that is delta chemical shift that is delta now as i have told you that if you are taking this compound this is shielded this is d shielded d shielded come on the left hand side shielded will come on the, with this you are putting tms and now what you are going to get on the extreme right hand side this signal due to tms because it will absorb maximum magnetic field as we have done after that ch3 this is the peak due to ch3 and this is the peak due to ch2 now you can tell that the peak due to ch3 is separated from tms peak the peak due to ch2 it is separated from tms peak and this separation of a particular peak from tms peak is known as chemical shift so what is the definition of chemical shift separation of 
particular peak from TMS peak. is known as chemical shift it is either expressed in ppm or delta now very interesting we have we were measuring we are measuring magnetic field from left to right it is increasing from left to right less to more but the value of a chemical shift definitely increase from right to left. Once again I will repeat, the value of magnetic field will increase from left to right and value of delta will decrease, increase from right to left. D-shielded protons, D-shielded protons have high delta low magnetic field and shielded protons have low delta and high magnetic field this delta scale ranges from 0 to 12 delta this scale of delta ranges from 0 to 12 so first of all a reference standard what is meant by chemical shift it is the separation of particular peak from TMS peak. So, what is the shift of chemical shift of methyl? Separation of methyl peak from TMS peak. It is known as chemical shift of methyl. What is the chemical shift of CH2? Separation of methylene peak from TMS peak. Magnetic field increases from which to which direction? From left to right. Deshielded protons require less magnetic field shielded protons require more magnetic field definitely tms peak resonate at a zero frequency so the peak which is close to tms they are shielded so that's why value of delta is less so shielded protons have less value of chemical shift but more value of magnetic field deshielded protons have less value of magnetic field but more value of chemical shift so d shielded protons have maximum value of chemical shift so this is the most interesting now i am telling you again and again many times people used to tell used to talk that distance from per distance of particular peak from tms peak it is wrong it is not distance it is separation Separation of particular peak from TMS peak is known as chemical shift. Now, we know the frequency due to this peak. In our instrument, we are having arrangement. Frequency due to this peak, we know. Frequency due to this peak, we know. Frequency due to peak, this no. By taking the advantage of frequency, we can calculate the value of delta. So, this is the most important article known as chemical shift. Dear student, if you have liked my lecture, hey guys, please like it, share it and please press the bell button to subscribe my channel to know much more about spectroscopy. Thank you.